Right now, 300 east between 8 and 900 south is closed as crews are working on a big water main break. The Salt Lake City Department of Public Utilities says that crews have been working on closing it for more than four hours now. We want to get out to news specialist Kara Bracken, who is on scene live. And Kara, tell us what you're seeing there and, and what the closures look like. Hey, Shara, yeah, you know, we've told you about the flooding that happened just a few streets over in Sugar House Park. Those areas saw lots of flooding, but now these residents, they are extra surprised to see even more water that's coming. But this time, that's not from flooding. So if you look here closely, you see where the crews are working to fill that hole, or rather even just repair that hole. Earlier, a small geyser shot up in this area about four feet because of the water main break. One neighbor tells us her basement has some flooding because of this. The water flowing down her driveway and through an open window to her basement crawl space. And you can see some of this water just pooling up here under these caution yellow tape uh, roadblocks. Now that said, the road it is blocked off. We're watching as crews put up more yellow tape blocking this area. You can see too where that road it is just washed out. Hopefully we're not having to go through and do sandbags again, but We've probably all had some practice at this point. Keith Croft says he's lived in the area for 10 years. He was on a bike ride this morning when he pedaled back, finding the street blocked off. The Salt Lake City Department of Public Utilities says a 12-inch water main installed back in 1978 is the culprit. And we will do repairs on the water line and get everything back up and running. We should not see an issue with uh, water quality after this. Maroney says there is a senior independent living center that is currently without water. It should not take too long to get water back to them. Well, it will take longer getting the road repaired. Yeah, I walked over just to see if my, uh, my neighbors were just kind of making a big deal out of it when it wasn't, but... That is not the case. Now, public utilities just say that senior independent living center, they're hoping that water will be back on and ready for use sometime mid to late afternoon. And then as far as this road goes, as you can see, there's still a lot of work to be done. So they're thinking another couple to a few days to get that knocked out. Guys. Yeah, quite the disruption to residents in that area. Kara Brecken joining us live. Kara, thank you.